Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Noelle and today we are unboxing the Under Armour sports mask. Under Armour announced this very early on in the quarantine and I mentioned it in an earlier video that I did about masks. So today, the mask arrived in the mail after I ordered it. I I think that was two weeks ago. And according to this waybill, the package originated in Singapore from Under Armour Southeast Asia, which is based in Singapore. And um, they used Janio and Entrego to ship it to the Philippines. I think it was roughly around 10 days, 10 business days to get here. So I'm very excited to open it up and check out what's inside this very lightweight package. It's just the one mask and hopefully today if the weather permits I'll be able to try it out right away. So it's very basic packaging. Um, no boxing to protect this from elements or from inadvertently being um, slashed open by a box cutter. So I'm um, I'm just going to use my hands and reach into the package and here it comes. So I am guessing that this is how it looks in store if they're selling this in store. Um, I'm not sure if Under Armour has this uh, in their local stores so that's why I bought it online. So here it says. Under Armour sports mask, sports performance equipment. Now, you can see here that it's non-medical, so you're not supposed to use it in a medical setting to protect yourself from viral exposure. What this does is basically um, help you adhere to mask regulations. So, it's got a seal that you open. <laughs> And it's very well sealed, and I don't have finger nails today, so they okay. And it opens it up. This is also a reusable Ziploc bag in case you wanted to take this around. And here is the mask in some pretty clever packaging. So, this is its carrying bag with the sports mask branding, and here is the mask itself. Now on initial inspection, this looks pretty well structured. This is the nose piece that it helps um, fit the mask properly to your nose. It's got an internal tag which you can snip off as you can see with the dotted lines. And here are the ear loops which are a little bit one size fits all but they are stretchable. Hopefully they hold their shape even after a few uses. Now this mask is also constructed with ISO chill, so it's supposed to keep you cool and it's supposed to be breathable. Here's the mask once again. And I'm going to ignore this little tag for now. I will snip it off um, shortly before I go off on my run. But here goes. I hope that I measured my face properly before I bought the mask so that this is sized properly. Um, okay, and then you have to pinch this so that it conforms to your nose and the shape of your face here. And that's it. I look very Bane right now, except I don't have vents in this mask. Hopefully my voice isn't that muffled and you can still hear me. What I am, um, my first impression is that it's actually a little loose on my face. I could probably stitch this up a little bit to make it more snug or fit more snugly on my face. Um, this peak helps it fit on my chin and my nose. And as you can see, I if I'm breathing hard, um, the mask fabric still moves but not so much. Um, hopefully when it gets wet, it will still hold its shape later. So 
Yeah, I am going to suit up. I'm actually already kind of dressed for the occasion and I'm going to go off and take an easy run through my condo complex wearing this mask and then I will report again. Back to you. So I'm done with my very, very easy run. Uh, I didn't really see any difference between using this and the other masks that I've used, which means um, it's not a step down. Uh, I really appreciate that I don't have to wear an internal cage in the mask because the mask itself already provides a lot of the structure needed to keep the fabric away from your nose and mouth. Now I've done only a very easy workout. Obviously with harder workouts, the inhalation, the breath um, requirements are much greater. But um, from my observation, this mask uh, didn't really you know, stick to the nose and mouth. Um, also, it didn't um, soak up a lot of moisture, um, so it held its shape. So I think um, even if I were huffing and puffing, this mask would still do very well. Um, my main concern is really uh, keeping the mask on the face properly, especially up here, fitted very properly up here. Um, I don't have a Caucasian nose, so um, even if I do have a bridge, my nose doesn't jut out as far as um, those um, honkers that this mask might have been designed for um, people with more prominent nasal features. So I, I did find that as my run progressed, the mask kind of slipped from up here down to here. Thankfully, I have this little bit of nose to keep the mask um, still on my face instead of slipping all the way down. But yeah, that is something to watch out for. I, I don't know, maybe if I stitch up the ear loops a little bit, just a tiny bit, it might keep the mask tighter on the face so that it can stay properly fitted. A lot of comments have said that this mask isn't really suited for people who wear eyeglasses because there's a lot of leakage, so the eyeglasses will get fogged. Um, because of this, the the little slippage that I noticed. I think that's the reason. Just a little warning if you're going to buy this mask. At the price that it sells for, some people might find that this mask is quite overpriced. Definitely you could find locally produced masks that could do the job just as well. I just was curious about this Under Armour effort and I do think that the construction kind of um, justify the price, the construction and the materials. Now, um, there's rumors that uh, version 2 is on its way, and obviously this is not going to be the only color Under Armour produces these masks in, so yeah, do keep an eye out for that. Hopefully the mask uh, performance continues to improve as they refine how they construct it. In any case, I'm happy with my purchase, and uh, I will be using this in my general running rotation. All right, guys, if you found that very interesting, if you found that informative, please do give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and I will see you again next time. Bye.